Hey, y'all, come quick. Them dogs out here fighting in Orangeburg again. Let them dogs out! The Garden City was turned into a back alley when North Carolina a and and South Carolina State finally put the paws on one another in a game to decide who would be the MEAC's top dog going into the championship leg of the season. Out in the tailgate, I caught my dukes grilling and doing the cha-cha slide at the same time. Right foot, two stumps. Left foot, two stumps. Slide to the left. Slide to the right. Chris Crow. Yeah, this is some special chili right here. Actually, um, my husband, uh, my late husband, he just uh, he got killed about three years ago. So um, he he's the expert in the chili. So I kind of took up that recipe from him. So I can tell you what the recipe is, but don't tell it nobody else. The marching one on one came in with them things locked and loaded. BGMM wanted the world to know that they some musical gangsters out there. And it won't nothing soft on the field either, as both squads showed that they are tougher than a $2 state. South Carolina State marking their territory early. First quarter, Corey Fields hits Omar Cummings on the screen. He takes it 48 yards down to the nine. That leads to a field goal 3-0 Bulldog. Later in the second, Roger Perry forces a fumble, recovers the fumble, South Carolina State gets the ball back and LeBron Morris breaks loose for a 20 yard run down to the three. Brown will punch it in from one yard out and the Bulldogs are up 10-0. And then Greek Dogs was over there showing out. But here come the Aggies. SCSU backed up against their own end zone and Tyrese Nick can't get up out the paint fast enough. The Aggies take him down for the two-pointer and a and gets the ball back. Khalil Carter hits Quinzel Lockhart who hops over a Bulldog for the 29-yard reception. Jamey Martin, five yards, six points. He's from South Cac, so you know he had to show some love to the fam and you know Jamey love the kids. 10-9 SCS, you barely holding on to that first half lead. A quick three and out gives the Aggies the ball back, and mama, there goes that man, Mr. Get Up and Go Get It, Elijah Bell doing Elijah Bell things. A great grab for 37 yards down to the seven yard line. Khalil Carter hits the bank for six points as he connects with Corey Banks from four yards out. 16 unanswered points from AT in the second quarter gives them a 16-10 lead going into the break. I don't even have to tell y'all that the Blue and Gold Marching Machine stay turned. And the Golden Delights know I got much love for them, and it looks like the feeling might be mutual. But we also got to get on up for the Marching 101. They even tried to take the BGMM on a walk. An extra spicy combo served up by the folks over there at South Carolina State. Two field goals from the Aggies in the third makes it 22-10 going into the fourth quarter. The Bulldogs in need of a big play in a quick way, and Demontrez Burroughs comes through with a 49-yard touchdown reception from Corey Fields. He tops it off with a light shimmy, and we got ourselves a whole ball game 22-17 in the fourth quarter. The South Carolina State defense was out there making plays. They get the ball back. The offense gets another field goal, 22-20, and T is now holding on to a two-point lead. Nine minutes left to play. South Carolina State marching their way towards the end zone, but Corey Fields overthrows Burroughs right into the hands of Amir McNeil. a t dodges a bullet on that drive, but then they get a ball back. In South Carolina State, they go three and out. But an 11-yard first down reception to Elijah Bell seals the deal, and the Aggies leave Orangeburg on top of the MEAC with another big showdown against Bethune-Cookman on the horizon as the Aggies remind us that to get to Atlanta in December, you're going to have to win in Greensboro in November. Hey, Still want the Greensboro, North Carolina, man. Hey, we run, we, we run the MEAC, you feel me?
ます。